Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am so surprised because I already have my FabFitFun Spring 2019 box. I think we were just charged on Friday and this is now the following Wednesday and I already have it. I am so shocked. I know that I was one of the people in the last sale who didn't get uh, their stuff uh, in the promised amount of time so I wonder I wonder if maybe those people they kind of made a priority this time around to try to make up for things because some people were pretty upset um, anyway so I'm I'm pretty stoked about this um, if you are new to my channel I'm pregnant so I'm having a lot of like shortness of breath and a little bit of spaciness and forgetfulness so forgive me for that um, I'm feeling pretty good though but anyway so these are my add-ons. I'll start with my add-ons. I did a little bit better this time. I spent the least that I've ever spent. I've been a member since fall, and I spent $171 before tax. I think after tax it came out to about $186, which isn't so bad. Um, and yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. So this first thing, it looks a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, um, but I do remember that it was four ounces. It's the Paula's Choice Exfoliate. Um, BHA liquid exfoliant. So I went back and forth about getting this. It's it's a salicylic acid. It's a BHA. It's an astringent. You know, call it what you will. I have one, but people were saying really, really good things about this. Also, if I use this as instructed, which is twice a day, morning and night, my skin is way too dry for it. Although, this might actually be perfect because one of the pregnancy symptoms I'm having is breakouts. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I've never had a problem with breakouts before. So this may be coming into my life just in time. So maybe using this twice a day right now in my life would be a really good thing. People say really good stuff about this brand, Paula's Choice. Um, it's highly recommended. There's this YouTuber I follow. Her title is, um, her channel title is This or That. I really like her. Um, and she, when she was going over the spring stuff, she said she was really excited to see these things from Paula's Choice in the add-ons. So, um, now I, I also went back and forth about this one. Most of the stuff I was pretty darn sure of, but this is the Lip Brulee, um, High Shine Lip Cream. Uh, these are the nudes, I believe. I remember they had berries in the sale before this one, and I looked. I was able to look at swatches of all of those on a YouTube video, and I was able to decide that I didn't like those colors for me very much. Um, and I have a lot of my own berries, but um, I was also able to look at a YouTube swatching video of this one, and I thought that the colors, I liked... Um, three of them for sure. So uh, yeah, so it looks like this. I was also able to confirm that, which I was surprised. I almost, I'm not sure if I believe it, but I was able to confirm that this company, The Beauty Crop, is cruelty free. If you've ever watched my channel before, um, you know that one of the ways I, am, I pare down my cart is I look for things that are cruelty free. I do not purchase things that aren't cruelty free. Um, if I can help it, um, uh, anyway, so I am very excited. So let's pull one of these out. I love lip colors. I'm so winded and very tired. Luckily, no nausea yet. So I'm just going to take a random one of these. They look really nice. They have kind of that uh, foggy glass look. I'm sure there's a name for it. Oh, although I think this is plastic. Um... So I'm going to put the prices of everything in the description block box below. So that's what the applicator looks like. Regular doe foot. I, I will do a separate swatching video uh, of these and a review. I went back and forth because I wasn't sure that I, that I would like the formula. It's a high shine and I tend to go for more matte, long lasting colors. But I read the forum and a lot of people were saying you can blot the shine off and then the stain actually lasts quite a while. So it, and it could work that way too. So. I'm very excited about those. When did um, okay? So now this one, this mysterious uh, skin essence, which I've never used a skin essence before. 
has excellent reviews all over the internet. It is a sizable bottle, hand skin, real complexion. Um, the front looks different than I remember the picture, but it's pretty darn close. Um, it's a good size bottle and it is hyaluronic skin essence. You use it after washing your face and um, I think it might, it seems like it functions a lot like a toner actually. Oh, it's sealed. I don't like to open my sealed products because I want to extend the life of them. Um, this one has a shelf life. It doesn't have the little symbol, but I know another reason I was wavering over getting this one is because the shelf life is only 12 months. But now that I'm realizing I should use this more often because I'm having uh, pregnancy breakouts, I could probably go through that in 12 months. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to. Okay, so my leg was falling asleep. Um, oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this. Also, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm on the lookout for a new good cleanser because my um, Cetaphil has parabens, I found out. Uh, so this is the Grown Alchemist uh, cleanser. It's the Gentle Gel face Facial Cleanser, Geranium Leaf, Bergamot, and Rosebud. And uh, it's so small. I wanted it to be like the size of their lotion, which was like three times the size of this. But I cannot wait to use this tonight. Let's see how it smells. It smells like bergamot and rosebud. It's very floral. Um, I like floral. My husband loves floral, so he so I tend to use floral things more than I would otherwise. Uh, we actually don't like the same scents at all. I'm more of a musky um, kind of girl, but he loves floral and bergamot. He's gonna love the smell of this, uh, and I like it too. I like it. It's a very very nice smell. Um, oh, I just wish it were bigger. If it's, if I like it and it's in on the sale again, I will max out. I am sure I'm going to like it. I like the smell. I've liked everything by Grown Alchemist except for their lotion. I didn't really like the smell so much. Um, and then I was able to just trade it. This is the Marula Pure Beauty Oil. The box looks like this. We didn't get to see the box and the sale, so that's what it ends up looking like. Um, this is just a 99% marula oil, I believe, which, um, marula oil was discovered. It's, um, a nut in East Africa, and it was discovered by, by some anthropologists that women in East Africa, by white anthropologists that women in East Africa were using this oil from a nut, um, <clears throat> to moisturize and whatnot. And so, of course, we had to appropriate it and start selling it, is long story short. Uh, the company does say that they do good things in the country where this comes from, and they employ the women and all of that. You know, I've never laid my eyes on it, but they do have a lot of information on their website about it. So this was quite expensive. Uh, so I have really high hopes for this. I am very excited. It has excellent reviews, lots of YouTube video reviews, tons of reviews on Ulta and Sephora, both I believe. Anyway, so this was really highly uh, rated and I would like a facial oil. I got turned on to a facial oil recently um, and you may have seen me raving about that one in another video of mine as well. So I got a second May Love Glow Maker Serum because I'm using one from the last sale and I really, really like it. So this I can just have on deck ready for when that one runs out and I am set on morning serums. This is an AM serum. So you want to use it in the morning as instructed. So, oh, I know I've learned a little bit more about this company. This company was founded by three MIT graduates, which is really interesting. And they came together and they decided to make um, uh, skincare with the perfect ingredients that would be really affordable. And they did. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. They're a newer company um, based out of San Francisco. So there's that, and then what are you? Oh, so in the box was, uh, one of the options was this uh, Cora's um, Wild Rose Overnight Sleeping Mask, 
and this is a great company, cruelty free. And I uh, was really excited about this because when I was in DC at a TJ Maxx, I found this Kerez Wild Rose, and this is just a regular mask that you put on for 15 minutes and you wash off. And so this is their their Wild Rose mask, and then now I have the Wild Rose sleeping mask. So I wanted the sunglasses and I wanted this, so I added this for $10 extra. And I anticipate that it's going to look a lot like the other mask, the packaging on the other um, Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up mixing these up. But yeah, they look exactly the same, but they are not the same thing. Um, so yeah, one is a sleeping facial and this one is a brightening and illuminating mask. So... These I can use maybe together at times if I want. Um, I really like the Quora's lotion. If you're into looking at ingredients, I did learn that the Quora's, the Quora's body butters do have pegs in them. So that's a little bit of a bummer to learn that as I'm learning more and more about ingredients and products. So these, this, just the package is just so, so cute. So cute I think um anyway and this is nice because I've been wanting a towel for my face after I wash my face we have white towels and so the, the my towel is just always disgusting so I want a towel that's just devoted to being able to um rub my makeup all over it shamelessly without worrying about my towel looking like I used it to clean the floor um and I am just going to take one out and feel it. It's really soft. These are mark microfiber. A little bit about microfiber. That's a big bummer. Um, when microfiber first came around, it's kind. Of, it's a little bit. It's related to polyester. But when microfiber came around, the scientists who came up with it, their heart was in the right place. There was so much. There's so much plastic to figure out how to recycle it effectively, and so microfiber is essentially recycled plastic. It's ground up little pieces of plastic mixed with other things. But the problem with it that's a huge bummer we're coming to find is that when you wash it, little particles. You know, there's something weird stuck to it. I'll get over that shortly. Um, so the little particles when you wash it come off and they drain into our oceans and then there are these part of, like it's, it, it's true, it's been discovered and linked to microfiber. So I try to limit how much microfiber I purchase and take part in. Um, anyway, a little lesson on microfiber. So I did have, I was a little bit torn as to whether or not to buy this but I bought it. So here we are. <laughs> I try, I do my best, I really do. It, I'm, I, I made the full conversion to cruelty-free. Um, so I did that and I did that recently and now I'm learning about ingredients and trying to um, just, I try, I try. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I also got this uh, Green Goo Wild Rose uh, deodorant. It's a natural deodorant, aluminum free. Again, rose. My husband loves floral. Yep, smells like rose. It smell. It smells like a rose. So um, that it smells really lovely. He's gonna love it. <laughs> um, and hopefully it works really well. He actually just bought me a Nature's Gate natural deodorant at TJ Maxx, and it is working so well. I can't believe it. I wore it today, and I. Do not offend. <laughs> um, so that was really, really cool. Um, you know what? I think there might be something missing. Oh, no, no, I found them. Okay, so what's next? I am. I got another Grow and Alchemist uh, product. This is the Brightening Serum. It is the Phyto Complex Rumex Leaf Extract Brightening Serum. And it looks like this. I have come to really love this company, Australian company, cruelty free. They don't use, they have this long list of bad ingredients that they will never put in their products. 
Um, some of their products even say it in big letters, um, stop animal testing. I've heard that Australia has some of the strictest rules around ingredients and animal testing on earth. Um, I'm not sure how true that it is. I didn't read that from, I, I believe I read that from a comment from another person on a YouTube video. So take it for what it is. Um, and, and it sounds, I believed it, it was believable. Um, um, the next thing is, now this is expensive and this bottle is really tiny. Um, so I'm not sure. This one I really, I really wavered on, but I love masks. I do a mask practically every night. This is the papaya enzyme peel, and people were saying that this was really, really amazing on the forum. Um, it's a small bottle. It's only 1.6 uh, fluid ounces, and it was $24. So I really sprung for this one. Um, I sprung for quite a bit, actually. I usually, in the past, I've gotten more, and each thing was cheaper, but this time I kind of spent a little bit more on each thing. Um, okay, so, and then I also got... This was another thing I was kind of back and forth on, and I may, I may or may not use this. I may trade this, but I wanted to snag it. It is Murad. I have talked about how I am kind of <clears throat> starting to steer away from Murad products. They are pretty shameless as far as the ingredients they use. I mentioned that I had uh, found out my Cetaphil cleanser has parabens in it, so I went ahead and I bought a Murad cleanser and just assumed it didn't have parabens because it was so expensive retail, and lo and behold, it has parabens. Um, this does not have parabens. This, um, what, it, what is this, you ask? It's a rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum, and it has 2% hydroquinone, which is a skin lightener, um, and then it has, I believe it has pegs in it. Yeah, it has pegs and fragrance and, and all, all a few, I think a few other questionable ingredients. I'm still learning a little bit about that, but I know that pegs aren't so good and fragrance isn't so good because if it has fragrance, companies aren't required to tell you what ingredients they put in to make the fragrance. So fragrance is like a disguise for maybe other ingredients that we don't necessarily wanna be putting onto our bodies. Um, okay, so this I really wanted because it works. It works. It works really well, people say. And I have some dark spots on my chest from sunburn from years ago and some pigmentation on my face. I read that if you're going to be using anything with hydroquinone, at this level obviously you don't need a prescription, but uh, you might want to check with your dermatologist. And then it also, in the long term, if you use it too much, can have, have the reverse effect where it can lighten too much and it can damage your melatonin, and um, or not melatonin, your melanin. Um, it can damage your melanin, and and then you you could get light patches and an uneven skin tone from using this. So I'm considering just using it. So I read, I looked into it a little further, and it was recommended in one little, uh, probably blog article, probably some op-ed, that you don't want to use it for more than five weeks. Um, so I might use it for just a couple weeks. People say you can see a results in just a couple weeks. And I might not use it at all. I'm gonna look into it a little bit more and um, I may or may not trade it. So there's that. Um, ugh. Okay. Um, and then I, that is it for the add-ons. So, yes. So they got everything in here. I don't feel like anything's missing. They, gosh, they got this to me so quickly. I can't believe it. Let me just do this. Okay, um, so now on to the box. So this is what it looks like should tell you. It's really pretty. I love yellow. Um, with some cactuses, cacti on it. 
And one thing that they always have, if you haven't seen this, I film these assuming that you know everything about FabFitFun. Um, yeah, if you're watching my video, you probably already know about Bad Fit Fun and you probably have subscribed. Um, so this has uh, Venus Williams featured on the front of the little magazine insert. And in this magazine insert, they have uh, more details on the products and how to use them and the cost. So I'm just going to find the page where it has retail values. First page. Great. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, I again, I assume that you are already a member of FabFitFun or you know quite a bit and you've watched many other videos before mine. So, uh, I did get the Grown Alchemist cleanser knowing that the Tula cleanser was in my box. And that is because I love Grown Alchemist and I have a feeling I'm going to like that much better and... There's a, there is a peg in this one. I'm not, that doesn't mean I am going to completely steer clear of trying it out. This is a really good size cleanser. It's a probiotic cleanser, which is kind of a new thing. I've never heard of probiotics and cleansers before. Um, let's see if I can smell it. No, it's sealed. And I will, I, I do product reviews of these things. These eventually on my channel, I will let you know what I think of all of these things that I am receiving. Um, and I believe Tula is cruelty free because I almost bought their cleansing oil and the add-ons. And then, oh, and then I uh, talked to Lauren on, she's a friend, subscriber friend, and she said that she didn't like it so much and that kind of reinforced me not getting it. I, I don't feel like I'm ready to jump on the cleansing oil bandwagon anyway. So um, anyway, that's Tula, pregnancy tired. Um, okay, and then there's this, uh, I remember reading what this word means and how to say it. It's like French slang for um, yes. It's like I think I, I think I read that it's like saying yeah instead of yes. Uh, why? Why? I don't remember how to say it, but that's if if because I have pregnancy brain and I'm spacey, I will double check any of these things that I'm doubting myself on. Usually I'm pretty on point with my information because I do research this stuff extensively before I purchase it, but this isn't one that I opted for. This was one of um, the things that everybody got in their box. So um, I didn't research this one very extensively, but I do believe that that's what that name means and that this is a pretty high-end hair care. So I meant to also tell you, let's go back to the Tula um, purifying face, face cleanser. So this retails for $28. You could have also gotten the Daily Concepts Detox Brush or the um, Venus, uh, Venus Williams Jump Rope. So it's right there. Um, and the Detox Brush was $18 retail and the Jump Rope was $15 retail. So I got the cleanser. And then this Way, away, way, way. It's like saying yeah in French. Uh, this everyone got in their box and it retails for $26. Um, and that's so it's a leave in, leave in spray conditioner. Did I say that? Um, <laughs> it's a leave in conditioner. I love leave in conditioners. I go through them like crazy. So I have. I have a few that I'm ready to tell you guys a product review on also, so uh, maybe I'll do a battle of the leave-in conditioners video or something. Um, okay, so here are the sunglasses. I got I, I got the cat eye sunglasses, and you could have either gotten these, this weird little picnic thing, um, or the Corez Overnight Sleeping Facial. So I added the Corez Overnight Sleeping Facial. For the $10 extra, I already showed you that. Um, and these sunglasses from Key Australia, they retail for $55. And what was neat is that you can go to their website and you can take a scan of your face and you can virtually try on their sunglasses. Their website will take a picture of your face and then you can go through and put the image of the sunglasses over your face to kind of see how they would look on you. It's pretty cool. I tried it. 
anyway so it comes with this uh, pretty nice case it's you know it's not a hard case or anything but this isn't flimsy this isn't flimsy and it has oh wow that's neat that's neat um, I like that <laughs> I like that already um, and I got these I'm not sure how these are gonna look on me I I don't know if I've ever tried cat eye Let's see, you guys have to be honest and tell me what you think. <laughs> um, so they feel, they feel pretty decent. I don't think they feel, no, maybe they feel $55 worth just to kind of, you know, feel them. Anyway, okay, so what do you think? Oh, I think they're kind of cute. Oh, that's a new look for me. They go with my sweater. I like them. Yay, I like these. I like these a lot. Um, okay, so far, you know, so far I'm really pretty, I'm really happy because I haven't been, I haven't been feeling too terribly excited about the things in this box, but so far I think I'm, I think I'm coming around. I think I was wrong, and um, I'm happy about that. So let's put these where I can't step on them. Of course, I just throw them on the table. I didn't mean to. Um, and this is the Sw Sip by Swell bottle. Uh, the options on this one were the necklace, the uh, powder, the translucent, translucent setting powder, or the Sip by Swell bottle. This uh, retails for $19.99, the setting powder $22, and this necklace was $30. Something about the jewelry on FabFitFun, I don't recommend ever choosing it. Some people say otherwise. So some people really, really do like it and it's fine for them. I just don't understand why it's always gold or silver plated brass. I don't get it and for the prices that they say they are, just make them sterling silver or sterling silver plated with gold. I just don't understand the brass thing. So I don't see how they could last very long and hold up very well. That's my feelings about the um, jewelry with that bit fun and also you know some people I just haven't heard good things about it otherwise, too, that it's kind of cheapy. Um, this is the Sit by Swell bottle. It's got a really cute color. I ha Oh, I actually happen to have it right here. I have my Swell bottle. This came in a cause box, and I was really excited to get this. I don't know that I need um, this little guy. In fact, I would drink this in like one gulp and then just wish I had a bigger bottle. I might just save this as a gift. I think I'll put this aside. This is a really, really super cute gift. It's so cute. But um, when I think about things I need, I don't really need this. Oh, but I, I, I love this color. Um, okay. What's next? So this one... This one I am disappointed in because I don't want Dr. Brandt products. They test on animals and I'm not interested in being a customer of theirs. This is the No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. And the box looks like this. And you know, I'm not trying to pass judgment at all. I just really, I just really don't see any place for animal testing in the beauty industry. Um, I work in, I work, I've worked in science. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just don't really see a place for animal testing in the beauty industry at all. Um, anyway, so this is it. Dr. Brant Needles No More, No More Baggage. Um, yeah, I remember when I first joined um, FabFitFun, people were raving all over the place about the Pores No More Microdermabrasion Exfoliant. I was really excited to get it, and I was lurking on the forum, and somebody said Dr. Brant tests on animals, and that was when my my exciting new world didn't come crashing down but kind of crashed down just a little bit uh in the beauty world i had no idea until that moment the animals testing was still happening on in the cosmetic industry i was living under a rock just using whatever drugstore shampoo and conditioner and my cetaphil cleanser and and calling it good and i was completely blind to the fact that that it was something that was happening. So, you know, I just, it just doesn't make sense to me that it would still be a thing. And, um, 
Anyway, so I might try to trade this. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I don't really want to use it. Um, anyway, we'll see. We'll see what I... Maybe I'll... Yeah, I don't, gosh, I don't know. Um, let's move on. I'm excited about these. These are the... Um, Measuring spoons. Oh, so the Dr. Brandt eye thing, it retails for $42. And I pass no judgment on you <laughs> or anyone who doesn't feel it's a big deal. I do not pass any judgment and, and please don't take it that way. Um, anyway, okay, so these are the measuring spoons and these retailed for, let me, I'll find that page. Okay, they're very cute, very pretty, they're a little girly, my husband's the chef so he'll look so handsome using these, um, yeah, they feel good, they're copper plated, let me get the description, copper plated measuring spoons, um, I did look up what the, uh, metal was under this and I believe I'll put it in the description box below um, but copper I did I did decide that I felt comfortable with the copper plated um, a lot of dish dishes and pots and pans are copper plated um, I don't I am not a chef my husband's the chef I don't know much about cooking um, but anyway I'm excited for these I have plastic ones so these are a little bit of a fancier upgrade um, and these retail for $15 so there's those always a mess to clean up after this so I chose the uh, show me your moo moo row I love these kinds of robes. I have one, um, and I think that my husband will like this one better. The options were the robe, the backpack, or the diffuser. Um, I chose the robe because I love robes like this. I would never use the backpack. Um, and diffusers, my husband, he's just not into them, and I'm very indifferent. So. This robe retails for $84, so I'm expecting some luxurious, uh, okay, so let's see if I can, forgive me, I'm in my PJs, but, okay, so that's what the back looks like, that's what the front looks like, let's put this on kind of hard to get an idea of it with my I think it's gonna be quite cute I love to you know when when it's hot and you don't sleep in much you can just get up and throw this on and go about um, your morning routine so it's it's very cute I like it a lot I've been really into floral lately so I was excited to see the floral yeah, okay, and then there is one thing left, and that is this Monica Dar, I think that's how you say it, Monica Dar uh, Charcoal Exfoliating Scrub. So this comes to me just in time, too, because I don't have an uh, exfoliating scrub for my body. My husband doesn't like lavender, and my favorite one used to be the Trader Joe's Lavender one, which is only $5.99. And uh, he doesn't like lavender. He finally confided in me. So I am going to open this one because I will use it soon. And I will let you know what I think of the smell. It is a... Oh, I'll show you. It is the champagne charcoal scrub. So it says relax. Champagne charcoal scrub. Monica Dar. Smells like pink lemonade, I think. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like pink lemonade. A, a little bit, that was definitely my first impression. No, it smells like, oh, 
Oh, what is it reminding me of? No, it smells like pink lemonade, pink grapefruit, pink citrusy. Definitely the pink part though, like where it's not as like tangy smelling and more candy like. It's good. Um yeah, so I'm I'm excited for that. What can I do with this? I will put it right there. Um yeah, so that's awesome. I I did get a sugar uh, a scrub that I don't like so much as a gift for Christmas. Um, so we'll see if that one's better. Okay, now that is everything. So thank you for bearing with me. I don't feel like myself. I feel good though. I feel good. And um, yeah, be on the lookout for more reviews. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please consider doing so. I would be oh so happy and I would love to get to know you too. Um, yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think of any of these things. I also love to hear people's reviews, even if you don't like any of this stuff. Um, let me know. Okay, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.